Hi, this is Zeddy, and Happy New Year, guys. It is 2020. We just rang in the new year not that long ago. Um, and uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Basil. Now, Basil sent me a bunch of uh, used tapes. I did purchase it from him, though. Uh, he is in the Facebook um, blank tapes groups as well as a, the... Um, Vintage Cassette Decks group as well. He's also a viewer of my channel, as well as Cassette Comeback, I'm sure. Um, but I got these, I actually purchased these um, from him, um, but he did make them available to me. Um, he's TDKD C90s, but this is, this is the true mechanism version of it. So I'll show you why that is special, because I know you guys are probably rolling your eyes again. I was like, this is 2020. It's a new year. Why is she doing another TDKD cassette? Because <laughs> certainly we have more than enough, right? Well, actually, um, this is the 1997. Um, sorry, not 19. I can't speak today. This is the 1979 version of the cassette. Um, I think this is the only t uh, year it came out in, though, uh, the true mechanism. And what's special about it is that, if you haven't tell or it, if you can already tell, is that it's clear. It's like a gimmick, I guess, for back in the day. And, of course, you guys probably look at this and it's like, that's nothing special. And honestly, as a kid back in, I don't know, 85 or something, I actually had this tape used. And I didn't think it was anything special either. Thing was, though, this wasn't in production for too long. So now that makes this a little more, um, I wouldn't say rare, like super rare, but it's definitely not easy to find uh, compared to the solid version. And what I mean by a solid version is this right here. Here is the normal one. Even though this is the C120, I don't have another one that is, you know, at the same length. But you can tell from the style, you know, it's basically from the same era. And if you look at the back here, 1979. Um, this one's probably from a different region, though. This is obviously from the U.S., uh, the U.S. market. Um, but I don't know if this is from the same market because um, you can see that the addresses are completely different. Actually, no, this may not be the US one because I'm noticing that Japan, Europe, I don't know, maybe they're just different regions. But in either case, you know, it is similar as far as the, uh, the J card goes. But already you can tell the case is different. Um, <laughs> You know, because they're, they were those totally using the uh, clear, you know, feature as like a, uh, as a selling point. So, here is, sorry for my phone going off. Um, but you can even see that the pattern, the little grid pattern is present on both of them. And that is, by the way, basil. I hope I'm just saying your name right, messaging me while I'm working on the video. So, hi, Basil. <laughs> I'm going to have to mute the phone now. Okay, so I just muted the phone. Sorry, Basil. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> um, anyways, um, so yeah, these are the same tapes, but check this out, though. The tape. Ah, the camera. Here's the actual tape. You can see the same style of uh, what do you call uh, the 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 um, label is the same design, but the shell is completely different. Even to the point where you know the label is shaped differently here as well. It still uses a nice solid hub, 
So it's not one of those cheaper, you know, semi clear or semi solid looking hubs. And as far as the tape goes, I don't know why, but the C120 doesn't have those little stripey lines. They're basically the same tape. Of course, this one is an old tape, so it's going to have a little bit of the impressions of the hub. But even the um, pressure pad is the same, and so is the um, magnetic shield. So... And that is really cool. Now, I don't want to record over this, so I'm probably not going to use this one to test with, you know. But, I'm pretty sure it's going to perform the same. Let's compare really quick, though. Well, let me take a look at the top here. Let me show off the tape a little more. So, there we go. Of course, we'll see it more in depth later. But let's take a look at the, some of the J, the J cards, okay? Uh, let's take a look at this one and then, of course, the C120. But let's take a look at this one first on its own. Because it's already unique in its own way. Mostly because of this part right here. Excuse me for my voice. <clears throat> I'm a little sick today. A little dry. Anyways, um, <clears throat> this one's basically advertising the true mechanism dynamic cassette. TDK's unique, high, reliable, true mechanism is designed and built to prevent jamming, snarling, fouling, or other operational uh, failures. Every TDK True Mechanism D cassette contains important mechanical components and as can be seen through the transparent shell. <clears throat> so it's advertising the guide rollers with the tapered flanges, the dimple and bubble of the slip sheets, precision hubs, which I can tell already, by the way, um, they're pretty, pretty solid looking hubs. Um, and two point clamp pressures, positive grip on tape to prevent pullout. So I'm looking at number four there. I'm guessing they're talking about those little um, retainers. Um, all felt pressure pad, five sealing screws, mirror smooth finish, which by the way, even though they say it like it's a specific feature for this cassette, I'm pretty sure that's the same tape. And of course, this is a used tape, so there's some writing on the J card. <clears throat> Although I do feel lucky that the tape itself, the, the label on the tape, is hasn't been written on. And the reason why I feel lucky on that, and I'm glad that is the case, is because, as you can see, it's glued on to the tape permanently, you know what I mean? So, unlike... This guy right here, which has already been written on, and it sucks because I can't do anything about that without destroying the label. And I know some people gave me some tips for trying to um, clean it up, and it doesn't really work well. I tried using it on a test tape, and it just smears it, it makes it discolored, and it still doesn't look that good. So I'm not even going to try it. I ended up... Um, re-recording um, steel eye span off of YouTube just to make it kind of like at least it's it's what it says on the tape you know but we're gonna compare now uh, I think I did a, a video already on I did do a video already on the TDK DC120 already specifically so you can always check uh, my previous videos below to check uh, this uh, take a look at it specifically but just comparing these two you already seen the top here the design is the same well, I wish I had a wider view here but um, the color scheme is the same 
This one does have the true mechanism on this side. But of course, you know, that's the difference right there. Where this one advertises the true mechanism dynamic cassette and it's got a nice little diagram and everything. This one doesn't. Although this one does also have the dimple and bubble sheet. So. On the flip side, everything is the same. And there you go. All right. The only difference is that, um, well, this one is slightly redder than, and this one's more orange. I don't know if it's because it's, um, because of the different length that sometimes they, you know, the color is slightly different to indicate different, you know, length. But, um, you know, the printing and everything is basically the same, you know. This one does say true mechanism on it. They have to advertise it. But that was the only, only difference, really. Biggest, of course, being this part right here. And really, that's it. And it does also have the, as you can see, using my LED, um, quote-unquote, flash on my iPad. You guys can see the grid pattern. Subtle grid pattern on here, which is a nice little detail. It mimics the same on the uh, case, see. as you can see there and there. All right, so, and of course the case does have the TDK logo embossed on here. I don't know if you can see that. And the only other thing that I would point out is versus Japan on here. It's upside down now, but that's also embossed on there. Now I find it that interesting because the this one doesn't have that embossed, but it does have the Japan and it does look different too. It's a little bigger, bigger spot for it. See? All right. I actually don't have time to actually do a audio test yet, so I'm gonna have to do that on a separate video. But what I really want to do is open these things up and take a look inside. So let's take a look at the inside. Okay. And there's your bubble and dimple slip sheets. <laughs> and it's a nice, nice, smooth tape pack. And there's the guide, guide rollers. And the plastic is very nice and thick. It is not, it does not feel like they've been cheaped out or anything. And it does use the metal pin guide rollers, which I believe is stated in here as a, uh, as a feature. I thought I did. Guide rollers with tapered flanges, truly round stainless steel pins. So they did advertise that here. Honestly, I think it's basically the same. I'm gonna open this one up next. All right, moment of truth. Mm. 
All right, so this one also has the same, exact same bubble slips sheet. And actually, judging by the markings and everything, I think these were stamped the same way. Yep, even the shape of the Yeah, even the shape of the um, record tabs are the same. So I think for all intents and purposes, this is the same. I mean, notice that there's markings on the windows on there, but there's no markings in this one. This is completely clear. See? And there are hash marks there. So there are small differences, but the major ones, like um, even up top here, the little details of, of the intricate parts that come together, they're exactly the same. So a little difference, but not all that different. It's the exact same guide rollers. I don't know if you guys can make out the detail or not. Let's see if I can. There you go. Reduce the light so that you guys can see maybe. Hubs are the same too. So it looks like the external detail, how they stamp it out for the label with that little, what do you call that edge right there? That little cutoff. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. Dog ear. <laughs> um, that's the only difference. And of course, it's a clear shell. Honestly, I just think it's a gimmick. <laughs> it's kind of cool though, I guess. I mean, if, um, you know, all you bought were... And all you saw were these tapes right here when you were buying them. Wouldn't you want the clear one too, just to say, hey, I got a, I got a clear one. I mean, what is it, like 40, almost a little over 40 years later, you know, still being 2020, but still we're kind of close to 2019. Like 40 years later. Dude, come on. I think their gimmick worked because... This tape right here, the, the true mechanism one, because they're now kind of rare or considered rare, um, prices have gone up for those as well. Um, although I did, like even with this one, I think it was like around used, they were still going for, for a decent amount of money. But um, again, thank you, Basil, for uh, making this available to me at a reasonable price. Um, and so I'm just going to put these back together and um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video as is right now. Just taking a look inside of the TDKD, yet another video about a TDKD, but this time this is hopefully special enough to hold your interest being the true mechanism version of the TDKD. Um, more interestingly enough is that I don't actually have that many TDKDs of 1979. I did a video of the uh, 79 version of the SA, which I have some of still wrapped. Um, and I have a 75 as well. By the way, I'm not going to show this off too much, but because that's kind of like not um, <laughs> part of this video or in the scope of this video. But it's basically the same, you know, the same uh, case and everything. And also, let me pull that tape out. Same shell. You know, but um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and um, look forward to another one when I um do some sound tests and also kind of rare too. And I got this used also from Basil, yes, 
Your eyes does not deceive you. This is the TDK OD. What's an OD? I didn't even know what an OD was. Um, but apparently this is a similar to the AD or um, this is just before TDK's uh, AR. So this is basically like their AD slash AR of the day. Um, their premium ferric tape of 1979. So that's a teaser right there. But this is used. Um, the All these tapes are used, by the way. Um, you know, the thing is broken off, the recording tab. And it's been written on as well. But it's in decent condition, so we can still try to record on this and do some tests. I'm going to do a little comparable video between... Um, well, this one I'm not going to record on, or not going to test on, because I already did it. And also there's actual music on here that I don't want to to erase. Um, but certainly this one right here, and the OD, for sure. And even quite possibly, we'll compare it to this guy right here. You know? Let's see, does it actually get better as the grade gets higher? should right it really should <laughs> all right guys um hope you hope your new year goes well uh everything goes great uh and uh or goes great i should say and uh see you guys um probably uh later with a um comparison video sorry my I, my outro's still stuck and uh <laughs> I still don't run with the script, but whatever. I gotta fix this guys up and, and screw them back on. So talk to you guys later. Bye.